Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm a programmer and an artist. This video is about how you can use the array fit quads modifier for my geometry node assets. To use it, we will need two objects. One will contain some geometry to array and the other will describe the surface that that geometry should be arrayed on. For the first, I'll add a plane, drop a material on it and move it aside. And for the second, I'll just add a cube. To use the modifier, we need to add it to the second object, which is the surface we want to place the array on. You can do that either via the modifier menu or by dragging and dropping it from your asset browser. It will immediately warn you that it has an empty output. To resolve that warning, we need to select the object that we want to array across the surface. For array fit quads to function properly, the arrayed object's origin point must be placed in the lower left hand corner. We can do that manually by snapping the 3D cursor to this vertex and then snapping the origin to the 3D cursor. Or for simple geometry, you can just check the calculate origin box on the modifier. Also note that the normal of faces on the surface mesh will be matched to the z-axis of the arrayed object. So you should construct your arrayed objects facing up in world space. The size of the arrayed object is then compared to the size of the face it's going to be arrayed on, and a number of copies are made so that it can best fill that space on the surface mesh. By scaling down the array geometry, we can cause more copies to be placed on the faces, or by editing the surface mesh, we can change the shape and size of the faces that the arrays are being built on and see it change in that way. If you deform the quads of your mesh so that you have non-square corners, the array will still be able to fit to them, but there will be some distortion, especially in the textures with the UVs. Like other modifiers that cause UV distortion due to deformations to the mesh, um, the distortion can be minimized by subdividing the mesh that's being arrayed. You can make the arrayed mesh as complicated as you like, just note that the more its shape resembles a rectangle, the better it will fit um, to the surface of the mesh it's being fit to. However, when you add depth to the mesh, it reveals an issue because the corners of the arrayed surface separate. This is caused by the process that's used when the calculate origin checkbox is checked, not knowing where along the z-axis it needs to place the origin. This can be resolved manually by placing the origin exactly on that vertex, and you can also set an, a custom offset if you want by moving the origin up and down. The keep source option allows you to append the arrayed result to the input mesh rather than replacing it. The adjust size option lets you resize the arrayed mesh, changing how many copies are needed per axis. And the space option was to let you add spaces between the copies. That feature could honestly use some improvements. Array fit quads is best thought of as an alternative and more interactive way to edit your simple arrays. Rather than using it to array things over a complex surface mesh, I usually use it on very simple individual faces or planes that are scaled and rotated to place that simple array where I want it in the scene. Using it that way makes it really quick and easy to, for floors or wall details. And another benefit is that that one object can have multiple arrays running in different directions and things in it all within a single object, which simplifies your scene. And that's about it for the array quads modifier. Um, I have a Discord server, which you're welcome to join. The link for that is in the description, as well as links to my website, where there are more details about all of my modifiers. There's also links to where you can purchase my geometry node assets, if you're interested in that. And that's all I've got for this one. Thanks for watching.